What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today we are checking out Universe Sim. We've played this game numerous times before and it's changed a lot since we played it last and before we played it that time it's changed a lot. And so this has honestly been a really, really good game for the channel. One of those games that's constantly evolving, constantly changing, constantly getting a little bit better. It's had a troubled past. It took a long, long time to develop, but by God, they're putting out monthly patches now and just like banging this thing on out. So let's check the game on out and dive into the world of indie games, shall we? God, I love them. Don't you love indie games? I love indie games. They're the best. They're fan. Maybe I'm a little biased. It's possible. Since indie games are my career, I might be a little bit biased, but God, I love them. Wake up. Wake up, creator. This is the beginning of your story. It starts with nothing. Nothing but an infinite void. However, you, with a single touch, can awaken the light. And so the universe sprang into being. Worlds filled with endless potential were scattered into the beyond. They formed into many different shapes and sizes. And while most were doomed to drift among the cosmos barren and alone, others flourished. These few planets soon became home to the greatest phenomenon of all. However, life is a peculiar thing. It comes and goes as swiftly as a bit of space debris burning up in an atmosphere. A creator's purpose was always that of an observer, to simply admire the fleeting beauty of life's beginnings and ends. Yet, this balance could never last. The issue with allowing a species to evolve independently is that they always fail to do so. For life to have a better chance of succeeding, it needs a helping hand. Ah, here we are. Welcome to Mother Planet. This is a fair sight, for it came to be that there was day and night Warmth and cold. And water to flow through the planet's veins. The soil was rich with minerals, which gave rise to a thick blanket of green. The perfect ecosystem was formed. It is no wonder, then, why life has chosen to inhabit it. A new species has been born, and they need guidance. This is your purpose now. Their very existence rests in your hands. It's a bad choice. Just saying. I'm not trying to be negative. That's a bad choice. It's a terrible choice. You should never put anything important in my hands. I'm going to mess it up. Something bad's going to happen. You can give me, like, menial tasks. You can give me, like, stupid tasks. But, like, if you give me the responsibility of, like, hey, taking take care of this entire alien race of creatures, I'm going to screw it up. I'm just letting you know now. So I kind of want to be... What do we have going on here? I kind of want to be, like... I really like this little area. Like, this entire little strip. I very much like this area, too. We kind of want to be around water, but we want to be near enough to stones that we can get those as well. Like, we don't want to kind of be in the... I'll probably go, like, right here. This seems good. Let's go, like, right here. The camera control in this game is so good. All right, so we got that over there. And there is the center of our civilization, right? How do I rotate it? Can I rotate this? I want to rotate this. Like, this is my epicenter. Like, I get that, but I want to rotate the epicenter. How do I do that? Come on, game. Let me rotate. 
I've tried a whole bunch of different keys. There it is. There it is. I found it. All right. So the epicenter will be right there. And oh, what an epicenter it shall be. There's our Take evolution tower. New subjects. They're called nuggets. Largely because of their body's apparent inability to keep itself in one piece. Adahi and Elu, the architects of their species. They are the founders of everything that Nuggets will ever know or achieve. Okay, sounds good. Adahi and Ehu, don't mess it up. All right, do not mess this up. I'm trusting in you to make this thing happen. Uh, we can also click on our game speed, apparently, to make it go faster, should we desire to do so. Voila, there it is. Move faster, little dudes. Move faster. So here it is. They've chopped down a tree. They're already going to work annihilating the environment in order for us to survive. This should probably be a house. Yeah, they'll build a house first. All right. Well, we've got stones over on that side. We've got our buildings on this side. We've got water right here. So by and large, everything looks good. Let's take a look at our technology tree, which is actually kind of enormous in this game. It kind of it kind of goes and goes, all right? There's a, there's a lot of things, and they keep adding more. Like, every time I play this game, this little table right here gets larger and larger and larger. Like, the last time I played, I'm pretty sure it ended, like, around here somewhere. And now we've got, like, all this stuff to work on. Like, I don't... God, where do we even begin? Uh, let's start with the water wheel. Being able to get water sounds like a really good plan. Wells seem like a really good plan, too. We can also go with fire. Who actually does the research around here? And we also have Kassoning. I don't know how to say that word. It looks like it's got a French origin. It's complicated, okay? We'll start it out right there. We'll start with the basics. Fire, cooking, water, wells, all that stuff. We'll worry about Oldowan tools and things of that nature later on. But for right now, this is what we've got. I think agriculture is a good thing to work towards as well. Like, basically give ourselves some food to... Oh my god, what has happened? I'm looking at the sky. Look to the sky. Look to the sky. This is quite a beautiful planet. Try not to ruin it, will you? No promises. Once we get to the fossil fuel age, we're going to really see that tested. Good things and bad things may happen. Are you guys, like, almost done with this right here? Yeah, put some resources in there. Build yourself a home. It's okay. Make yourself a double wide. We need a place to dwell if we're going to make this society work out. Also for sexy time. Because nobody wants to do it just like out in the trees and stuff, you know, like a deer. Like, that's not, that's not classy. We're trying to create a classy society out here. We do it on the indoors. <laughs> I just read that latest message. It's a real hoot. Oh, wait. Maybe they could actually use some help. Well, there's our first house. Uh, they are more than likely going to get busy sometime soon and make us a bunch more little dudes. What stuff can we craft for right now? Pretty much nothing. We can do an archive that allows us to save our game. This game has kind of an odd save system where it's handled through like a library that you build in the middle of your city and you have a librarian that you assign and the librarian auto saves the, the game like every three or four minutes. Roasting a few nuggets. What is this? The book of love, 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 love. We don't mean to sound like we're complaining, but we're having a tough time doing all the work with just the two of us. Is there any way to get more people? Maybe bring in some extra hands? Okay. So we've got to use Coupidon. I didn't think you knew anything about reproduction, creator. Let's see. Wrath, Is influence, there we go. Research nowadays? Someone just scooped up some mud and decided to paint the first thing that came into their head. Actually, it isn't the worst There we go. Idea. That's how you do it. You hold down the control key in order to cast spells on people. Did it work? Oh, there we go. You got to do so it to both of them. Gotcha. Together. Apparently, their faith in me has increased. We've also researched fire, which is pretty awesome. I don't see anything that fire hath enabled. Oh, we have the water pump. That's good. We should probably do that. Having water is probably a really good idea. Let's go ahead and start that on off. Ah, when the hood is a rocking, please don't be knocking. They're banging it out right now. Just give them a second, all right? They're going to come out all red-faced and embarrassed looking, but oh, everybody pretend like we didn't know what they were getting that? up to. A little baby nugget. 
We are struggling to agree on a name for our little ones. Though they're still mortal after all. Adi, he wants to call them something trivial, like stick or stone. And I'm about to break his bone. I've suggested some more appropriate names, but I'm trying too hard. Can you help us settle the argument? then. Let's call them something silly. So instead of stone, we'll name this one brick. It's like a more refined stone. Apparently, Illu's faith in me has increased. She loves the new baby name. It's so naming it Brick is so much better than naming it Stone. Trust me, it's just better. Okay, don't question it. I am your creator. I made the universe. If you're strongly suggesting that I don't know how to name a baby, be careful. I might call down some fire and brimstone on you. Okay, I have that power. I have the ability. I don't like to break it out because it's kind of a dick move in the overall like guardian slash godhood manual but I will do it if I have to let's keep this thing high and tight alright uh, we also need to build a reservoir apparently do I have a reservoir we got a water pit I mean that's something where does the water pit want to be Water pit, where would you like to be? I'm going to put you over here, water pit. There we go. Water pit time. And then what else do we have going on? Do I have that reservoir that they were talking about? Do I have that thing? Or have we not gotten that yet? I don't think we have it yet. So we're going to have to wait until our research goes through. We're getting better, though. We're, we're, we're getting stronger as a society. We've come up with some basics. We've got that over there. I'll probably go water storage next. Turning old one kit and then maybe fishing so that we have some extra food just like bang out everything okay over time I am positive we're gonna end up with every single technology don't forget to bring a reservoir before the winter comes yeah I'm working on it I'm working you don't have to show me this you know what I know what I'm doing all right I've played this game a couple of times before I'm pretty sure that as an all-knowing all-powerful all-benevolent God I've got this under control I don't need your help it's gonna be all right so we've got resources right there. What we can do is we can help out with the resource deliveries. Uh, we can do telekinesis over here. And then, like, what does this need? It needs wood. Pretty sure we can just do that. Yeah, exactly. We can help them out so that that gets constructed, like, right this second. What's going on over here? They need stone. I got you, son. I got you, G. Perfect. So the... Kassaning research is done. Doesn't look like it gave us anything new. It may have just increased the efficiency of our builds already and just made it more worthwhile. Sometimes it can be hard to tell with this game, but like it does tell you. Like if you look at the research, I think it'll say what it does. So this right here, we've got the water pit. And then this will give us the water well. Oh, maybe it's an upgraded version of the Nuggets water pit. Maybe that's what it is. Unique to one another. Although there are some things that are shared between nuggets, these include the need for certain essentials like food and water. Yeah. It's an upgraded version of what we already had. And an occasional nap. They want to learn, build, discover, and create. It would all Apparently, I can't help out with upgrades. If they also didn't happen to be the species that initially thought their shadows were trying to eat them. I mean, shadows can be scary. Like, think back to when you were a child. Was there anything scarier than, like, stuff in your living room after your parents went to bed? When you were, like, nine years old and you went downstairs or you went to the kitchen to get some water. You remember how scary everything was that was mundane during the day? Like, even the pots and, like, the plants... And, like, the paintings on the walls that were just, like, hanging there. Like, they were way creepier at night than they were during the day for no explainable reason whatsoever. Just saying, man. Sometimes shadows can be scary. Like, illumination and setting is equally as important as theme and art. That only holds two waters? Oh, my God. Weak. Super weak. The well is no more. Did I obliterate the well on accident by hitting it with a tree? My bad, guys. I'm trying to get these... I'm, I'm trying to get my water powers under control, okay? Like, I haven't quite figured out this whole, like, godlike deity power thing yet. I'm working on it, though. I'm trying really oh, hard. A little weak creator. 
There we go. Let's just get that rebuilt real fast. There we go. There's that right there. And then we'll get like a rock. Perfect. And is that like done now? Yeah, get, get them another rock maybe. Like levitate a rock over there. Yeah, there you go. There you go. That's how it's done. Just bang it out real fast. They're running around in terror because rocks and trees are levitating all around them. I don't blame them for being afraid. I'd probably freak the hell out too if I saw like a, you know, two-ton boulder levitating overhead and then magically just insert itself into the construction project in my backyard that I had previously started. I would, I would, you know, it's, it's concerning. We have primitive cooking. Did that do anything for us? It did. We have the eatery, apparently. At least our well's done, and it's got four water slots instead of the normal two water slots. Are we doing water storage anytime soon? Okay, we're working on water storage right now. That's good, because we're going to need more water. I'm going to wait for my god powers to, like, slowly fill up. What is this right here? The crime information? Overall crime level is low. That wasn't in the game the last time I played. Interesting. So apparently we have to deal with the criminal element at this point, which I don't know what the cri I don't know what the criminal element is made out of. I assume barium. I'm not sure. Uh, let's see. There's not a whole lot to work on right now. Like we're kind of just like waiting. I guess we could do the eatery. Give them like a little place to like relax and get some dinner in them. I mean, there's no point wasting time by just waiting for this to get done. It's got like 2 minutes and 45 seconds left until it's all done. So we might as well do some of the other little tasks. They're eating a little bit of food, but I think we shouldn't have like a critical food situation for a while. We should be alright. Yeah, you guys bring all that stuff over here. Oh, you brought the wood over already. Nice. Hell yeah. I like the fact that you guys are like good at your jobs. So please, avoid doing things that you did in the earlier early accesses like getting stuck in trees and stuff like that. I'd appreciate it. Thank you. Which direction is our stone mine in? It's right there. Okay, that's close enough. That'll work. We are going to need some farms and things pretty soon. So it's got 20 output. I'm hoping they'll finish this off before... Yeah, it looks like they're gonna. They're piling up some rocks right now. My hope is that this will get finished before this is done so that we can just kind of easily transition in between the stuff that we want to create. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I catch you at a bad time? Nalo this. Yeah, Nalo that. I appreciate it. You Nalo that thing. You Nalo it all day long. Apparently, they're making smush smush over there again, too. So that's good. Nasuhi has skidded into existence. What a landing. Happens to the best of us. There you go. Team effort. Build that thing up for me. I can't say I'm a fan of nugget delicacies, but it should keep everyone relatively alive and happy. They do seem to brew some interesting beverages, though. <laughs> All right, we'll have Stick get in there. So we're now pumping water over to that spot. We are going to need water storage about as soon as that's done. So let's put in one or two of these guys. Probably two of them, just to be safe. You look a little confused. Don't worry, I expected as much. I All right. have questions, but you'll learn everything in time. On like your if own. Like, if I... Bothering me. So, like, if I'm God, who is the narrator? It's a valid question. Like, if I'm an all-powerful deity, who is the narrator that's talking to I'm me in such a patronizing way? I'm beginning it's to a feel valid question. Nuggets have the wrong address. Do they really think you can solve Let's see here. Problems? Help Stick finish their hut. This okay. This one is just being lazy. You might be too kind for this world creator. Oh well, I suppose it'll give you some time to practice your powers while that nugget lays in a hammock sipping a mojito. They've invented mojitos? Nuggets don't overreact to the falling leaves this year. There we go. So apparently, Stick's faith has increased. Huzzah. The crime level is medium. There's only like six citizens. How much crime could there possibly be? 
Like, good lord. Oh, they're building me a temple right now. Hell yeah. Worship me. Hell yeah. I'm okay with that. Build me a temple. I want, like, a big bronze statue of me out in front of it, holding a war hammer, aiming at the sky as a threatening star looks down. You know what I mean? Like, that's what I want. That's the type of god that I want to be. Give me a red cape, too. I want to have, like, a big red cloak cape. And maybe, like, a halberd that's, like, scale mail. That's what I want. That is how my people shall envision me. Let it be so. You guys like getting stuff done over here? Maybe, like, I can get other people to move over here if I prioritize it. Mm. There you go. You guys get on this right here. Nice job. We're going to finish this project. Build, 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 build. There we go. That's what I like to see. The number constantly going up instead of that weird, like, you know, that loping trickle. I like that we've got, like, a stream now going. So there's that. Uh, the temperature is still good. This is going to fill up with water so that we don't run out later on. Uh, the wells will actually drain from here. And if you look inside of there, you can actually see the water level, like, going up. It'll slowly increase. I would recommend having a lot of water storage. You never know when there's going to be like a hot season or like a drought or anything else like that. And it's usually a good idea to kind of have a lot of water stored up just in case things go wrong. Because they will. Eventually they will. They love to go wrong. So we've got the Oldowan Toolkit. Something tells me that we're going to need food soon. Oh, we haven't done fishing yet. Yeah, that'll do it. That'll definitely do it. Uh, let's go with... Oh, I don't know. I want to go for agriculture. That's an interesting combination. Yeah, let's push through to right there. That looks good. Back down to our little world. We're kind of like out of food right now, and that's the part that's worrying me. Uh, we will drain from this lake right here, unfortunately, as we go along. But we got very, very lucky in that our civilization started out next to a really, really big lake. So it shouldn't be a problem for now. It'll be a problem for later. The temple has received its final touches. So it indicates the relationship of your citizens towards you. They neither fear nor love you. Both ways have pros and cons. Okay, I want them to fear me. If I gotta choose between love and fear, let's go with fear. I want them to be terrified of me. They will worship or they will burn in Thor's skyfire. And Thor's skyfire descends out of love. Just know that. That you fear me, but I only burn you with sky lightning because I have to. Alright, this is for your own good so that you can be better citizens. This doesn't have to do with me. This is recompense for who you are, little caveman. Be good people. Or I will incinerate you. Sometimes I feel like the world would be a better place if there was, like, a god up there who just, like, incinerated people for being, like, bad. You know what I mean? Like, you get, like, five bad deeds per lifetime. Right? And if you crest that hill, it just burst into flame instantly. That leaves you, I feel like, a little leeway for choice in the bad things you want to do. But at the same time, it puts a hard cap, like a limit, on how much you can level up your life of crime before you start affecting other people. Maybe five is a little generous. Maybe we should go for, like, three. And we're also not grading by degrees. So maybe we come up with, like, kind of like a currency system for, like, criminality. So you get, like, three... Let's call it, like, you get three crimes, right? Right, right, right? And each of those is made up of, like, a decacrime. Right? And so it's subdivided into, like, ten. And so, like, theft would be, like, four decacrimes. You know what I mean? Like, you gotta, you gotta grade it. Because some things would, like, instantly max you out and burn you up in flames instantly. But other things, they're, like, additive. You gotta do, like, a lot of those before you get to the incineration point. I feel like we're probably good on reservoirs. I'm feeling pretty solid about that. What I'm worried about is our lack of food right now because I didn't research fishing. Engineers so if people start to starve to death... Oh, those are... We have eight prepared dishes. Spread. Gotcha. And now, you're just letting them all collapse. Tisk, tisk. Oh, yeah. I forgot. We need engineers. So there's an engineering building. And this will make I little guys that walk around and fix the houses. You were trying to catch up.
Why did that guy have like a little chef's hat? Oh, because he's the chef. Makes sense. Okay. Yeah, you know, chef's hat gets a hat. All right. Or the chef gets a hat. Gotcha. Well, hopefully eight meals are... Oh, really? Apparently our city is named Levenbirch. All right. I mean, they could name the city whatever they want. I'm fine with that. I'm not going to argue. It's their city after all. I mean, I just supplied the materials and, you know, conjured them into existence, but... A mammoth. How do I hunt the mammoth? Dude, I'm like ready to kill a mammoth out here. Like legit. I feel like I'd be pretty good at mammoth killing. Interesting idea. Taking to the water for more food. But what happens if the water freezes over? It shouldn't matter too much. I think we'll be okay. I'm going to put in two fisheries so that next year we have more than enough food and we can sneak on by without like running out of the good stuff. But this year we're going to be a little bit hungry. These don't produce food nearly as fast as farms do. So I'm hoping by the end of the winter we have agriculture ready to go. But I'm not going to hold my breath on it because winter frankly my nuggets here, are kind of stupid. I have a great survival tip for you. Hmm. Uh, where, where did I put it? I'll get back to you. We should have enough water to last us. We didn't really have enough time to like get everything stacked up, but it should be good enough, I think. Can I do another water pump? Yeah, let's get another water wheel over here. Like I'm trying to future proof. Like it's gonna be a long winter, so we might as well get some construction done while we wait. Uh, our engineering place, we want people that are brawny to be our engineers. So You've Elu will apparently be our engineer. Right? And so what they'll do is these houses over here, they're kind of busted. They'll come over and they'll fix the houses and they'll kind of repair things. You'll want to put these like for every 10 citizens or so, like every four or five houses, you'll want to make an engineer so that they can run around and fix things as necessary. I think the engineers will also jump in and help like with construction if they got nothing else to do, but I don't know about that one. I'd have to check on it. Uh, my name is Slider Cat. This is the Universe Sim. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you wanted to get the game for yourself, as always, I have a link for you down below. Thank you for hanging out this afternoon. It was really, really fun. I'll see y'all later. If you don't know who I am, my name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile every single day so that you don't have to in the world of indie games. Aside from that, if you could leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it, it helps me out tremendously. But other than that, I do, and I'll see y'all tomorrow with something fresh.